Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of MT Talk. Uh, today, uh, I wanted to uh, touch upon a topic which I think most people have heard but don't know exactly what that means or how to apply that in your life, right? And that topic is, whenever we think of public speaking, the first reaction many people have is that of fear and uh, anxiety and nervousness and the feeling of, oh, I'm going to mess it up, I'm not prepared, I'm not good enough, and so forth. So all of those negative uh, thoughts that the mind turns. And then we have heard, you know, experts guide you saying that, you know what, don't worry about all that, don't look into audiences' eyes, look above their forehead, and do whatever, but always remember one thing, speak from heart, and then everything will be good. So yeah, I mean, these are all really good advice, uh, good suggestions, but the question is, how do you speak from heart? What do you really do, right? So I wanted to share uh, an insight with you based on my own life experiences growing up. Of course, I was scared at some point in my life about public speaking, not anymore. I speak in front of thousands of people uh, because I use this principle that I'm about to share with you. So let's take a, uh, let's play it out. Let's assume that you have to make a presentation on a, a particular topic to about 25, 30 people. You don't know who they are. They have been invited by some of your friends, uh, but you kind of have an idea about the audience profile, that they're all you know, rich, successful, intelligent uh, people, highly skilled in what they do, academically very qualified, masters and PhDs and so forth. So you have a good idea about the mix of audience. So you are supposed to present to them some information that you think is going to be useful and it's going to bring benefits uh, to them. But uh, if, you know, while you are presenting or right before you start presenting, if your mind comes and thinks, oh, if I'm going to say so and so things, if I'm going to, uh, you know, kind of try and explain a particular concept, uh, that I'm about to share, these people are already so intelligent, so analytical, so successful in what they have done so far. Um, they're very smart, right? What if they misinterpret what I'm trying to say? What if they don't understand? What if I'm not about to bring clarity in what I'm trying to say, and so on and so forth? Uh, and people also carry, audiences also carry a lot of baggage in their memory from past experiences. So you're also worried about that, that they have a memory of past experiences which may come into the play when they're listening to you, right? So all of those things. So what you try to do then is, you try to adjust your message, your pitch, to align with their expectations based on the assumptions you're making in your mind, right? So what happens then is, Instead of operating out of your own intention and conviction about what you're trying to say, why you're trying to do that, why is it useful, now you have shifted to adjusting your message according to the assumptions you have made about what they are thinking, what they're expecting and so forth. So that's right there uh, what messes up things, right? So when they say, speak from heart, here is what it really means. No matter what the audience profile is, no matter how many people there are, if what you are presenting to your audience, in your heart, you have the intention that this should bring value to people's life. And if there is conviction in your own thought that this is truly going to be helpful, then don't worry too much about what the audience profile is or what they're thinking, what they will think, right? Always state what is your intention and your conviction. Of course, when you're doing a public presentation like that, we should also have the skills, the capabilities, and share facts, all right? You're not making up stories, you're sharing facts. You, are, you have good intention and you're convinced about it, right? So. When you have all these things, then always, always, always operate from your 
intention, the purity of your intention and the conviction and the clarity in your thought as to why you're sharing or uh, you know, giving some information uh, to your audiences. So when you do that, then you're speaking from heart, then people will relate to it. Then you're not worried about uh, what assumptions people are making in their mind, right? So don't operate from the assumptions of other people, operate from your intention and conviction in the heart and it will show in your words, in your actions, in your being. And that's how speaking from heart will really touch people's heart and they will respond to that. That's it for today's Contemplative Insight. Talk to you in uh, another video on another topic. Until then, love and peace to all of you. Bye-bye.